Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and with iOS 17.3 being released really, really soon, it will most likely be released tomorrow. It might even happen today. I will show you guys in this video 10 things that you should do first once you have updated your device to the new iOS 17.3. Now, first of all, if you have updated to iOS 17.3 beta and you have the RC version, that means that you already have the same version that Apple will release to the public. So you don't need to update your device and you won't be getting an update on your device. If you have any of the betas, you can of course update any time to the RC or you can just turn off the betas and update to the public version. Either way, if you had iOS 17.3 beta on your device at any time and you don't want to continue with betas anymore, what I suggest you do is head on to your settings, go under general software update here. And what you will get here is of course the option for beta updates. What you can do here is just turn them off. So you will stay on iOS 17.3 and the next public releases by Apple. And of course not update your device to the new iOS 17.4 beta, which should be released very, very soon. Now, while you're here under the update section, what I suggest you do is go to automatic updates and make sure they always have all these turned on. Now, of course, after a big release like iOS 17.3, most likely there will be a lot of minor releases, not a lot, but probably one or two will be out. And then of course there should be security updates as well. So what I suggest you do is make sure that you install those minor updates on your device as well. So you don't have to bother with them. You can actually just turn on here all the automatic updates. So everything that comes out that's new and that's useful for your device will be installed automatically on your iPhone. Now, usually when you update your device to a new iOS software release, especially a bigger one like 17.3, you will probably get also a carrier update. This of course will depend on your carrier, but a lot of people for different carriers will get updates. Now to get that update, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All you have to do after you have updated your device to the new iOS 17.3, just head on to your settings, go under general and just go under the about section. Once you go there, if there is an update for your carrier, it will just pop up on the screen, just like the low battery pop up gets on the screen of your device. All you have to do is dismiss it and that all will be done automatically. So you don't have to install anything or turn on anything. You just go under the about section. And if there's an update for your carrier, it will pop up on the screen. Now, usually when Apple releases a new software update, again, especially bigger ones like 17.3, there will also be a ton of updates for apps. Most of the bigger and more popular apps will always get updates after a new iOS version is released. So what you want to do is make sure that you have your apps up to date so they work as they should with iOS 17.3. And of course, once you have updated to the new iOS 17.3, all you have to do is just go on your app store app and just go to your updates and make sure you update all of your apps. Now, if you don't want to bother with them, you can always, of course, turn on automatic updates for your app. So you go under the app store section here on the settings app and they will have app updates. You turn them on and of course, with time, those apps will all be updated automatically to their newest software. Once you have updated your device to the new iOS 17.3, there's another thing that I suggest you do. Head on to your settings, go under battery, and then go under battery health and charging. Right here will have, of course, the maximum capacity of the battery of your iPhone. Now, why I suggest you take a look at the percentage here, I would suggest you do this, especially if you know that your iPhone is close to coming below 80%, which means that your iPhone's battery needs to be replaced and your iPhone won't perform as it should. Now, usually when you install an update on your device, the percentage will drop because when installing an update, your iPhone will recheck and will recalibrate all of its components and that is the time when it will actually show you the real battery health of your iPhone. That's why a lot of people, once they have updated the new software, they will see like maybe two or three percentages drop here on the battery percentage. It's not that the update is doing that, the update is just recalibrating and rechecking everything and it's showing you the real battery health of your iPhone. Now, one cool thing that Apple has done with iOS 17.3 is that when you go under the general settings on your device and you go under Apple care and warranty, now you will see a 
full list of all the devices connected to your Apple ID. So once you have updated to iOS 17.3, you can now finally see the warranty here and the coverage for all the devices you have on your Apple ID. So just go under general, Apple care and warranty, and you will have a full list and the names of all of your devices. And you can now check the warranty for each of your devices. Another cool thing that Apple has done with iOS 17.3 is a new feature called stolen device protection. This will add a new layer of security to your iPhone. So when your iPhone is away from its familiar locations like your home maybe or your work, Face ID will be required to just have access to certain things like erasing your iPhone, changing a passcode and things like that. This is to protect your data because if someone knows or steals your phone and knows your password, they will be able to change a ton of things on your iPhone. Not anymore. Stolen device protection will now make sure that it also requires your face ID in order to do that. And it's an amazing feature and um, an amazing layer of security that will be added to your iPhone with iOS 17.3. So once you have installed iOS 17.3, make sure that you have stolen device protection turned on for your device. Here's another cool thing that you can do once you have updated your iPhone to iOS 17.3. Use one of the new wallpapers that Apple has added with iOS 17.3. There is the wallpaper and it has a few different modes. This is like the stock one right here and you can see it also has the depth logo right there on the lock screen but of course you can swipe here to change to between different colors and different styles so it will have you have the red one, the green one, you will have multicolor. This looks really, really cool. And then you will have a black one as well. So you can now have a new wallpaper, a new stock wallpaper that Apple has added with iOS 17.3. And the last three things are things that I generally suggest to people check on their iPhone and do on their iPhone when they have time to update their iPhone to a new software update that should take a few minutes to also do this. First of all, back up your device. It's always a good idea to have a backup of all your files, all your data. You can do that, of course, through iCloud backup or maybe even through a computer, but just make sure that from time to time you do back up all the data that you have on your iPhone. Another thing that I suggest you do once you have updated your device to iOS 17.3 is take a quick look at your privacy settings. So go under privacy and security. And you will have things here like your Bluetooth. You will see here all the apps that do have access to your Bluetooth. Maybe your microphone. Just take a look at these apps here. If you see an app that you don't want to have access to your microphone, make sure to turn it off here. And you will have a lot of other things like, of course, your photos, your contacts and everything else, your files here. So just make sure that you go ahead and just take a quick look here at your security settings and make sure you have them configured the right way, which is of course really, really important. And then you will also have here app privacy report, which basically lets you know what every app is doing on your device, what stuff they have access to your data, your sensors and all that. So make sure you check this as well. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and of course, subscribe for more iOS 17.3 videos. And I'll see you on the next one.